the new album, Verminous, it's not a concept record per se, but there are some overarching themes that are recurring for the record. And uh, what I mean by Verminous is like I'm referring to the whole of the underground as as uh, the rats and the roaches, the creatures that uh, that people don't want to see, the normal people, you know, um, the bringers of the plague that will kill man. You know, we're the things that go bump in the night that, that scare people. Uh, this, you know, this music is the music of the villain, you know, and I, I like that about it. That's that's my, uh, my always my standpoint uh, lyrically for death metal is to be telling the, uh, the story of the villain of, of Christianity and normality. A song like Sunless Empire, for example, I'm talking about the underground as the underground, like being below the earth, having, you know, being a, a place where we all hang out and live and uh, unbeknownst to the world that's ruined above, that's ruined itself. Uh, this is funny, um, Wereworm, the song, um, it's not a reference to Middle Earth necessarily, but it's just, it spawned from um, joking around with the band, actually. Uh, we were playing some shows with Vervum, and we were doing our best um, European accents, and we were saying Werewum, and then it, I was like, Wereworm, or uh, Alan was like, Wereworm, dude, and uh, that just stuck with me. I thought that was so weird to, like, to turn into something so minuscule, you know, instead of something powerful, necessarily. So, the song itself is, is about turning into a worm every night, against your will, and crawling through corpses, and then uh, you return to your bed every morning and you're all dirty, and you're like, that really sucked. <laughs> Wereworm. <laughs> My favorite song has to be uh, Removal of the Oaken Stake, uh, the third track. Um, it's just so majestic sounding and uh, the lyric was influenced by a role playing game I used to be into called Rifts. Um, uh, there was this, uh, this vampire expansion for the role playing game and I remember one of the pictures in the book was of a, a skeleton with a, a stake in its chest, a vampire getting the stake removed and the next four panels were it like regenerating so the the sinew came over the bones and it was steaming and um, then it became a you know a, a, an active vampire again so the song is about being in a casket with a stake through your chest just waiting for the day for some fool ass to pull it out and then you can come back to life and take shit over we went with one uh, Castiano, I just thought he's got such a classic look. It's a little bit Necrolord, a little bit Dan Seagrave, somewhere in between there. And, um, you know, we're all about the Evil Place artwork, so I thought he'd do a good job, do something that was um, very classic, you know, and um, I wanted to tie it to the album with a sort of a sewer-esque look. And if you look closely, there's lots of rats and roaches and little critters everywhere, you know, the representative of the verminous uh, mindset, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, th I really like it. Uh, I think he did a great job. Yeah.